All right, so this lesson, lesson 54, is on reducing by grouping factors equal to 1 and dividing fractions. So here we have this equation, 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 divided by 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. In these problems, we can mark combinations of equal numbers, the same number, to make 1. So for example, 2 over 2, okay, we know that 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, so I can just cancel that out. 2 over 2 is equal to 1, and 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So when I'm all finished, my answer is just 2 thirds, because 2 times 1 times 1 times 1 is just 2, and 3 times 1 times 1 times 1 is just 3. This makes it a lot easier if we cancel before we multiply. Now in this equation, we're going to do the same thing. Cancel out the common numbers in the numerator and the denominator. Now I can't cancel out numbers that are the same in the denominator. It doesn't work like that. 2 times 2 is not equal to 1. But 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So we can say 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 3 and 3. And 5 and 5. So in this case, my answer is just 3 fifths. Now the second part is with dividing fractions. So in this problem we have how many one-halves are in three-fourths. So it's three-fourths divided by one-half. Okay. So if you remember our trick, so that there's two steps, and the first step is you need to find the reciprocal of your second number, this one. Okay. And the trick we learned is that to find the reciprocal, I only need to flip these two numbers. And then to figure out how many one-halves are in three-fourths, I would then multiply the reciprocal by my first fraction. Okay, so, so if I was to do it, three-fourths would stay the same. Okay, the division sign would become a multiplication sign. And my one-half would become two over one. Now I can multiply that across. 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 1 is 4, and I need to reduce that or just change it to a mixed number. So a mixed number would be 1 and 1 half. Okay. So remember, the trick with dividing fractions is flip and multiply. So this one, it's how many 3 fourths are in 1 half. So 1 half divided by 3 fourths. So again, we have 1 half divided by 3 fourths. Okay, oops. Let's fix that dividing by sign. Divided by 3 fourths. Okay, so let's make it, change it. So we have 1 half. We flip this number. Oh, excuse me. We change this into a multiply, and this number we flip into 4 thirds. So 1 half times 4 thirds is equal to 4 six, which then we would reduce down to 2 thirds, and that would be my correct answer. And so there's 2 thirds, 3 fourths, and 1. Hey, that's all. Good luck with your homework.